uh, here's another thing that maybe uh, you shouldn't uh, need to be told. Never stop learning about yourself, your motivations and your blind spots. The buttons that can be pushed. Never stop learning about your delusions of grandeur and of uselessness. I mean, this is absolutely into the unconscious stuff and into the first one I said about what happens when people project onto you, transfer into you, uh, treat you in ways you don't want to be treated. The whole unconscious dynamic relatedness that happens between you as a positionally appointed leader and the congregation and the world outside. One day you'll think you're wonderful and you'll know it's not true, but you can't quite understand why you're feeling it. And another day you'll feel absolutely useless, even though you know you're not useless, and you'll wonder where that comes from. So go on learning about yourself. Do it in pastoral supervision, do it in therapy, do it in prayer, do it with spiritual directors, do it with the people you trust. But if you stop learning about yourself, you'll suddenly find yourself absolutely high and dry. And what happens, unfortunately, is that at a particular age, you think you've sorted it all out. And you have for that age. But then ten years down the line, you come round to it again, the same thing. <coughs> how, I, how I related to my father would be an easy example. He was a very, very good man. But I didn't kind of feel that he loved me very much. He wasn't very good at doing love, affection. He was very good at providing me with everything he thought I needed, and I knew all that, but I didn't kind of feel loved, so there was this time in my life when I felt very, very discontented and very empty and very lost without that love that I believed I should have had from my father. And I went into therapy, and it was very interesting, and I sorted it all out before he died. And we had some good conversations, and I was clear of it. And then he died. And I discovered I wasn't clear of it. I was when he was alive, but I wasn't when he died. So I had to kind of dig deeper into it. And then my first son was born, and I realised that I became a father, and I had to dig into it again. And just three years ago, I became a grandfather, and I had to dig into it again. There's no end to the amount of inquiry and learning there is. That's what keeps us alive. And of course, the same is true about God and how we relate to God and, and all that.